Hi folks, this is Carrie Stack over at All Seasons RV, just taking a quick look at this 2005 Fleetwood Wilderness Advantage 290 SQFG that we have in stock as part of our pre-owned inventory. Uh, as you can see, it's got a front fiberglass cap. Uh, you get your two 30-pound propane tanks, and of course it would come with a battery. Starting on the outside, you've got this big front pass-through storage area. It even has lights in here, which is always handy so you don't have to be monkeying around with balancing a flashlight. Uh, you've got your awning. It's a manual awning. Good size. It goes almost the whole length of the camper, and of course it comes out the usual eight feet. You've got your floodlight to the side, and they even give you another storage bin right in here for some of those items you might not want to mix with some of your other luggage. Uh, this camper really put storage just about everywhere that they had any dead space. So coming around the outside, you see obviously this is dual axle. You've got outlets on the outside of the camper so you can plug in TV, anything you might want. And coming around to the side here, you've got an outside sink area in this cabinet. This sink just pulls right out. You've got storage up in this area. And then continuing around the back, you've got another really big storage area back here. You've got a couple steps up into it. And then coming over here, you've got these utility baskets. You've got hooks up top. You've got plenty of space right here. You even have fishing pole holders in the back here so you don't have to collapse them down. And then you've got these storage bins to the side here, which are metal, and just pull out like that for some shelves for you. This is a unique setup in the back. I haven't seen a lot like this. You also have uh, floodlights in the back so you can see what you're doing. And this back door is huge. It just closes like that and it does have a handle for getting in and out of there. As you can see, you've got your ladder on this one. And then continuing around the side, you've got the rest of your hookups. You've got your water hookup, your power cord, which is retractable in this case. You've got your outside shower, another light, and then you've got things like uh, cable hookups and stuff like that. Continuing around the outside, here's the other side of that exterior storage area. Again, goes all the way through, nice size, and I like this, uh, this carpet that they put in here. Nice and durable. So, continuing on inside, we'll take a look at this camper. Nice oversized grab handle, makes it easy to get in and out of. And as we come inside, you can see to the right, you've got your master bedroom. You've got plenty of storage in this bedroom area. You've got cabinets on both sides, as well as up above. And they do that nice glass uh, insert in the, in the top cabinets there that really adds a nice touch. These side cabinets have hanging areas for hanging clothes. You also have lights over top of the bed for reading and you get drawers on both sides as well that open out. In addition to all that, you get your usual under the bed storage, which is in here. You've got this that slides, and you can even take it out so you can store all sorts of stuff in there with different sizes and shapes. You also have outlets on both sides of the bed over in these areas up by the headboard. So you can plug in CPAP machines, phone chargers, anything along those lines. And the privacy for this bedroom is an accordion door, which you can see right here. Turning around, you've got your three-person couch. And I know in a lot of campers, you end up with the two-seater loveseat style. This one is a nice, regular-sized couch. And you do have a pullout. So you can have folks over. They can sleep on the pullout. You can also put the dinette down for extra sleeping as well. You've got more storage up over top of the dinette and over top of the sofa along with a lot of windows. This camper has a lot of natural light in it. And then if we pan around here, you can see you've got your kitchen area. For your kitchen area, you've got a good amount of storage in here. You've got all these cabinets, and I love this hardware they have on here with these leaves. So you've got baskets, you've got shelving options, you've got drawers. You even have a usable drawer underneath the oven, which isn't always the case. Flush mount cover on the stovetop and the sink so you get as much counter space as possible when you're not using those items. Double bowl sink, which I know a lot of folks like. And then you've got more storage area up top. This cabinet is huge and over here. 
usual microwave over top of the range. And then you've got your wood paneled um, refrigerator over here, which I, lo I love when they do that and match the cabinetry. This refrigerator is of course a two-way fridge, so it can run on gas or electric. And you've got another storage cabinet over here for a pantry area or whatever you might want to use it for. And then continuing over here by the door, you've got your entertainment center. So you've got plenty of space for a TV. You've got more storage up top, again, with those nice glass uh, cabinets. And then you've got all your outlets and plugins and all that stuff right there. More storage underneath. So you've got plenty of space for shoes, games, videos, any of that. And you've got your switches and tank checks in one convenient spot right by the door here. It does have inside speakers, so these black speakers that are attached to the ceiling here. And continuing to the back, you've got your rear bathroom. This shower tub area has the segmented shower door, which I really like, better than the curtain. Uh, you've got a skylight up in top there. You've got your medicine cabinet over to the side with a nice big mirror, lights up top. And you've got your vent fan uh, in the ceiling here. You've got storage underneath in this cabinet, as you can see. And then you've got little shelves for anything you might want to put there, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, razors, beard trimmers, any of those things. And then you have even more storage over to the side here. This camper has tons of storage. You can hang things in here, you can put your linens in here, blankets, anything. And you even have more drawers underneath. Uh, ceiling lights are on switches, so you don't have to be tall enough to reach the lights or be fumbling around in the dark for where the light exactly is. You've got ducted air conditioning in this unit. There's your air conditioner right there. So it runs evenly from front to back. Uh, I already mentioned your inside speakers. You've got another handle right here for easy access in and out. And they also do a good job with outlets. I already mentioned the outlets on either side of the bed. You've got another set over here and another set by the stovetop, as well as a set by the dinette there. There's another set in the bathroom. So that's a quick overview of this 2005 Fleetwood Wilderness Advantage, model number 290 FQSG. Feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Carrie. The phone number here is 330-564-0222. Or of course you can email me, and my email address is Carrie, that's K as in Kite, E as in Edward, R as in Robert, Y, at ASRVS.com, that's A as in Apple, S as in Sam, R as in Robert, V as in Victor, S as in Sam.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Again, my name's Carrie, and I'm at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio.